What's up y'all? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Christiana and I am back with another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I promise you, you're gonna love it here. Today, I am bringing you a highly, highly requested video. It is my fitness routine. Y'all been in my DMs like, Sis, what's the routine? Draft the routine. We need the routine. I got you. I've been working on it to make sure that what I'm doing has actually been benefiting me and now I'm ready to bring it to you guys. Before we hop into what I do in the gym, we all know that fitness starts in the kitchen we've all heard that you cannot outwork a bad diet and i for one have struggled the most with that part but not since i started noom major shout out to noom for sponsoring today's video but an even bigger shout out to them for really changing the way i view fitness and healthy eating i'm a person who has always been really motivated for like the first week and then i fall off the wagon and when honey i say i fall off the wagon i fall off the wagon and i go right back to my old ways and i get discouraged and the cycle repeats itself again but i have never been as consistent as i have been since i started noom it's really because noom works with the way you already live your life noom is unlike any other program you have ever tried before because it really gets to know what your current life is like and then it just helps you integrate healthy choices into that from the time you sign up for noom they're going to ask you questions about your lifestyle about your mental health about your eating habits and noom just really gets to know you to make sure that your program fits what you are already doing in your life and i'm also a person who i need to know the why behind why i'm doing things i'm not a person you could just tell something to and I'm just gonna go with it and I really love the noom lessons for that because they help me understand the reasons behind making certain choices and the reasons why I make certain choices like for instance I didn't understand why I was a nighttime snacker I just knew I like the snack at night and noom had a lesson about your triggers your environment and what creates the eating habits that you currently have and when you understand the why behind something it is so much easier to either change it or tweak it to where it works with your goals there is so much more to eating healthy and having a healthy lifestyle than diet culture and noom is nothing like diet noom is what i call my accountability buddy because it really makes me feel good about choosing healthy things i love logging my food i love weighing in and seeing my progress and when i say i had scale anxiety but noom has really helped me get rid of that and Noom understands that you're human. You're gonna gain a pound sometimes. You're gonna have a cheeseburger and a donut, and that's fine. Noom makes me feel good about the decisions that I do make that are productive to my goals and understands that just because I had a donut, I didn't throw away all my progress. Another feature that I love about Noom is the Noom Guides. You actually have a person to talk to to help give you advice and help you stay encouraged, but you don't have to check in with this person every day. It's not an overbearing kind of thing. It's more like a buddy when you need it. And that's honestly what Noom has been to me. Noom has been my accountability buddy. I log my weight, I log my steps, I log my water, I log my food, and it just really helps me feel like I've done a good job and reminds me to stay consistent when reaching my goals. Speaking of consistency, I love the Noom coin feature. I get a little reward whenever I finish my lesson for the day or whenever I log my food, log my water, complete my step goal, and it just helps me feel accomplished for that day and makes me excited for the next day. I could go on and on and on about how Noom has really changed my life because it genuinely has but i really want you guys to try this for yourself so you can take your free 30 second quiz with the link in my bio just go to noom.com slash christiana take your free 30 second quiz and i promise you you'll be encouraged from that to go ahead and start your noom program Sometimes when you're starting out and you're trying to eat healthy, a lot of us don't know what healthy really is. That's because health is not one size fits all. Noom understands that and makes it easy for me to log my Chick-fil-A sandwich as well as my Chick-fil-A salad. And it really just works for how I currently live my life. Again, the link is in my bio to go ahead and take your free 30 second quiz. I promise you it is going to be the best decision you have made. Again, a major shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and jump into what we do in the gym. So we're gonna hop right into what a gym routine looks like for me. For starters, I wake up in the morning and I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself. It's best to weigh yourself before you eat or drink anything. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my pre-workout ready. I use a C4 pre-workout. It does give you a little bit of an itch, so heads up on that. I mix that with about four ounces of water and then I go ahead and throw that thing back. I'm gonna put on my gym clothes. This set is from Pretty Little Thing. I put on my sneakers, I got these from Amazon, and then I'm gonna take my vitamins. I take this Ollie multivitamin with probiotic, and I also take this hair Nirvana vitamin from Pacifica. I'm gonna take my hair out of the roller that I sleep in and just put that thing in a low bun so it's not in my way while I'm working out. A quick little check to make sure I don't look crazy, drink a little bit of water, and we're heading out to the gym. 
when I get to the gym I'm gonna put on my little sweat belt for my waist I know people say it doesn't do anything but it makes me feel better then I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the treadmill that's just my cardio of choice for the day I just choose to do 20 minutes of cardio today I'm gonna put it on an incline of about seven and speed of three and then I'm just going to gradually increase my speed and increase my incline as I get through my workout and again I do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio before I start weightlifting on a leg day, I'm starting with those two 25 pound dumbbells and I'm gonna start with some deadlifts. I'm making sure to squeeze at the top, which looks really funny, but ugly butts in the gym make pretty butts outside of the gym. I'm also being sure to hinge at the hips and really focusing on engaging those glutes and keeping my neck and spine neutral so that I'm not lifting with my back. I'm gonna superset that with a jump squat that has a pulse in between. A superset just means instead of taking a rest, you do another workout in between. And I do three sets of 12 of each of those workouts. I'm focusing on really getting low and keeping that neck and spine and back neutral. Then we're gonna move on to the leg curl. I go ahead and start with 100 pounds and I do three sets of 15 of these Work your way up to that weight. That is just the weight I'm at currently. Then I'm gonna reverse the machine and work on the hamstrings. And I also do three sets of 12 on that. And I drop the weight to my hamstrings. And that is literally all I would do for leg day. Now if it was arm day, I would go ahead and start with these curls. I'm using two 15 pound weights, really focusing on keeping that elbow neutral. Then I'm gonna take those weights and do shoulder presses as my superset. Doing three sets of 10 there, and then I'm going ahead and going into working on my triceps. I picked up a bigger weight, I believe that's a 20 pound, and I'm just lifting that above my head. I'm really focusing on keeping my elbows neutral and really engaging those tricep muscles. Taking that same 20 pound weight, I'm going to go work on my back. I believe these are called Supermans, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is it makes my back burn, girl. I finish off my upper body day with some planks with step outs. If you can't step out on your planks, that's fine. Just do a regular plank and hold. Or if you want to engage those obliques, do a dip. And that is literally it. People think you need to do a bunch of different workouts to get results, and you really don't. You really just need to make sure that you're maximizing the workouts that you are doing by making sure that your form is correct, that you're lifting heavy weight and constantly increasing that weight and getting close to failure, meaning that you're lifting as much as you can until you literally can't lift anymore. That's what's gonna get you results. All right, y'all, so you have seen what a typical leg day or a typical upper body day looks like for me in the gym. I did lose a few clips. I don't know how I did that, but I do stretch before I work out and I also stretch afterwards. So just make sure you're doing that because flexibility is also important. You don't wanna pull a muscle. And I also just know that the gym can be really intimidating. A lot of us don't know what to do, so we get in the gym and we just start doing something that we've seen somebody else do. We have no idea about form and how to maximize our benefits and how long we should be working out. It can be so intimidating and then you don't ever see any people shaped like me we don't get this kind of representation in fitness so I'm really really glad to be bringing you guys this video so that you guys can remember that health is not one size fits all it is a journey for all of us and your goals are constantly changing and evolving I do want to mention again that Noom is a great tool to help you reach those goals so don't forget to hit that link in my bio again a major shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one bye